Tell, board certified plastic surgeon specializing in body recontouring surgery. Sorry, we haven't been uh, with you for a few weeks, but we're back now here on this beautiful spring day. And it's probably going to snow tomorrow. What can we say? It's Wisconsin. But it is spring, and it's time to get ready for bikini bodies. And I sure have been doing a lot of that. Uh, this uh, month I've uh, done more breast augmentation, I think, than just about any other month in my entire career. Um, everybody wants to get their surgeries done now so that they can have their bikini bodies ready for the summer. Uh, if you're interested in breast augmentation, um, I do more of this uh, just about than anybody around. And I, my guess is that I probably do more breast augmentation than everyone else all the other surgeons around here combined, and there are a number of reasons for that. The most important is they will, uh, almost everyone else puts a scar on you underneath here. I am the only surgeon around that routinely does not put any scars on your chest at all. I do this operation, as most of you know, through a little tiny incision, it's about this big, up in your armpit. And that scar eventually fades to the point where I can't even find it. And if I can't find it, no one else is going to see it. So you can have your little bikini top on with your arms up and no one knows I was ever there. Now, anyone else uh, who, who is, uh, routinely watches these uh, broadcasts also know that I only use saline implants. I like saline because saline is very safe. Saline implants are adjustable in the operating room, unlike silicone. And silicone implants come out of the box, it goes in you, boom, that's it. Nothing I can do about it. Saline implants, I can adjust in the operating room so that for a lot of women who are a little bit different sizes on each side, I can adjust for that and get you better symmetry. And if I don't think we got you quite where you wanted to be, I can do something about it. Can't do that with silicone. So really, I can't think of a whole lot of reasons that anyone who wants a breast augmentation would go anywhere else unless they want a gel implant or they want a textured implant. I don't do either one of those. I see no advantage in using gel and textured implants. There is now evidence to show that there's a small but significant risk of a particular complication, a breast implant-associated lymphoma that is a particularly nasty problem, and it's only associated with textured implants. I've always used smooth-shelled implants, never used textured. So uh, if you want a, 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 the safest way to go, that's what you do. You don't go with a textured implant. And the other reason that I do so many of these is, as some of you know, it's called the ideal implant. This is the newest saline implant out there. It's called a structured implant. It was originally designed to help minimize the risk of rippling, being able to feel ripples on the sides. And we would see that in very thin women. But as it turns out, the ideal implant is the safest implant out there, has the lowest risk of a number of different complications. Ideal implants are really the best product. And I like using them a lot. I've been using them now for several years. And I, I think it's the way to go. And if you want an ideal implant, there's only one place to get them, and that's right here. So, um, uh, breast augmentation. This is the time, and if you want to get uh, 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 your surgery done by swimsuit season, I mean, it's, it's getting very busy around here, as you can imagine. So, you need to get to us uh, so that we can get this uh, surgery done for you by swimsuit season. So, oh, and by the way, um, some of your your uh, gentlemen friends, you know, I, I don't just operate on women. Uh, there are a lot of uh, men I, who come to me and want uh, some type of body recontouring, sometimes uh, uh, chest reduction or uh, liposuction and so forth. I do a lot of that as well. So um, anyway, um, oh, by the way, uh, many, most of you thought that uh, last weekend was Easter. No, 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 no. For the we good Greek Orthodox, this Sunday, that's Easter. So, uh, if you want to know what to say to a Greek Orthodox for Easter, here it is. If you remember from a big fat Greek wedding, Christos Anesti. Christos Anesti. See you next week.